What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video and today we are actually going to be playing a new game for my channel. This is one that came out about two weeks ago now. Um, I've actually been playing it for about a week because uh, GameStop actually decided that their pre-order process I guess is not the same as Amazon's like I was expecting it to be. Uh, so when I pre-ordered it, they didn't send it to me until I think that Saturday and the game came out on Tuesday so when you pre-order things from Amazon uh, typically you actually receive the game on the day of the release date so you pretty much don't miss any time I mean of course there are always gonna be people that say you know you miss the time in the morning because you know FedEx or you know the post office or whatever that's actually delivering the game they don't deliver it in the mornings typically depending on where you are in the route of course so, you know, if you go to a store or something, you can actually get a couple extra hours in or whatever, right? But I don't typically worry about that. I, I work a 9-to-5 job, so playing games during the day for me isn't, isn't usually common. But I am a little bit disappointed because I was expecting to get this game on at least on Tuesday at some point. And uh, even if I couldn't get it on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at the very latest. Like I said, I didn't get it until Saturday, so that kind of sucked. Uh, so I haven't had anywhere near as much time as some of the other people have to be putting up videos and stuff like that. But I did say that I was going to be putting together a Road to the Show series, just like I did last year with Rick the Wild Thing Vaughn. And I am doing it this time with Kenny Powers. For those of you who are unaware, Kenny Powers is a fictional character created on the HBO show Eastbound and Down. And it is truly, truly one of the absolute funniest shows that I have ever seen. I mean, like, just ridiculously hilarious, top to bottom. The entire series is amazing. Obviously, there are seasons that are better than others, just like every other TV show. But, man, that show is just ridiculous. And I thought it would be fun to create a Kenny Powers character on this game. So that's what we're doing. Number 55, Kenny Powers, KF and P. And uh, he is going to be trying to make it to the show, just like Rick the Wild Thing Vaughn did in our last season. But there are some major improvements to this series as opposed to what I did in uh, MLB The Show 13. And uh, the major difference, of course, is going to be that I'm actually playing this on the PlayStation 4. So the graphics are going to be a lot better than they were on the PlayStation 3, of course. But it's actually also going to be significantly more convenient for me. Because the Elgato was kind of a pain in the ass to hook up to the PlayStation 3. Especially since you couldn't use HDMI, you had to use component. So now I can use HDMI, so like I said, the quality is going to be better. But also, I don't have to sit and unhook it for my PlayStation 4, hook it up to the PlayStation 3, and uh, mess with a bunch of settings, reset my PlayStation 3. So, anyway guys, I, I think that this is going to be a good series. I think it's going to be a lot of fun for me. I hope you guys enjoy it. I know not everybody likes baseball, but I actually am not a big fan of baseball. I play fantasy baseball, but I, I don't think I've watched an actual baseball game in probably like three years. Um, actually, I take that back. I did go to the Minnesota Twins Stadium uh, two years ago, I think, and I saw a game live. So that's like the only one that I've seen. Oh, and I take that back. I did actually go to a spring training game because I was down in Florida for the Twins versus the Pirates. Uh, saw Andrew McCutcheon hit a home run, so that was pretty beast. But other than that, I haven't watched any baseball. I don't literally like the sport that much, to be honest with you. But I really enjoy this game. If you guys haven't picked up MLB The Show before, if you've never played it before and you're a Madden guy or, or you're a fan of just other games in general, Call of Duty or whatever, try out MLB The Show because this game is probably the most realistic sports game that I've ever played. Uh, the counts are realistic. Everything is, is so much better than it is in other sports games. So I'm really excited again to play this game. I've taken probably like a two month break from MLB The Show 13, so I'm pumped to get back into this thing. And I'm excited to get started with Kenny f***ing Powers. So let's get into the gameplay then, and this is actually my first pitch. Now this is kind of like the prospect showcase game. And I'm pitching out of the Central Division. Um, I just picked it because that's where I live. And uh, as you can see here, we have some control issues to start things off here. But we do get a ground out here. He grounds easily over to the shortstop. And we make the play. It was actually closer than I expected it to be. But the shortstop didn't have a great arm. Second man up to bat. And we go 99 miles per hour already. Kenny Powers just has that fire. And we hit him with the change up. He grounds back out to the shortstop. The second guy's out. And we're looking pretty good so far. 
Uh, two outs already. Not too bad. It only took us two pitches to get that second guy. Now we're up with the third guy up and he is going to actually line this one out to center field and look at my center fielder. That guy, if that guy gets drafted, I just have no words. I mean, that thing was like elementary school level ground ball and he just lets it go past him and the guy gets a double off of it. Absolutely ridiculous. Next batter and he's going to actually pop out to center. It had me worried there because that jabroni was out there again making a play in the field, but he did make the catch. I did allow a hit, but overall not much damage done. Pretty simple, but it says your performance out there wasn't great, but let's chalk that one up to nerves. You've still got time to improve your draft stock, so don't dwell on it and go out there and have some fun. So that's what we're going to try and do here in the second game. And as you can see here, more ground outs. I was kind of surprised because I remember when I was doing the Rick the Wild Thing Vaughn minor leagues and it was just like so simple to get strikeouts, it felt like. Like nobody really had much of a shot. But in this game, it just seems like everybody's able to make contact. I mean, granted, they're not really getting many hits or anything. This one's just a simple pop-up to second, but no strikeouts yet. I went six at-bats, no strikeouts. I mean, I'm totally fine with it as long as we get out of the inning without allowing hits. But, you know, it, it was kind of surprising, like I said. Anyway, though, I did get an improvement to my draft stock, so that was good. Uh, at least I didn't crap it away like I did in the first game and allow a hit. Moving forward now to the third game, and look at this. This guy's going to bomb it deep. Deep, deep, deep. I thought it was a home run, but it wasn't. It actually fell about 15 feet short of the wall. Thankfully, we get out of that. Full count now with the second batter, and he is going to swing and a miss for the first strikeout that we get. I did actually walk somebody in this inning, but I didn't show it because that's too boring. So, anyway, we now are entering the MLB draft. And unlike what I did in the 2013 MLB The Show where I just made Rick the Wild Thing Vaughn go to the Indians because that's where he was in the Major League movies, I decided that what I would do with Kenny Powers is actually put him into the draft. And it projected me to be a third round pick. Now, <laughs> this was a little bit frustrating to me sitting here and watching this. You guys are going to see it kind of rotate by really quickly, but I don't know why they do this and maybe somebody can show me. But... It actually made me sit here and watch every single one of these picks. Every single one. And it's not like it was going by quickly. It was like 10, 15 seconds between picks. And I'm sitting here going, are you kidding me? I can't skip through this. I'm watching as 14, 15, 16, 17, and I'm going, okay, I've got to be up next, right? I've got to be coming up next. They wouldn't just make me sit here through this entire round while I'm not getting picked and you know, all these random characters that I have no reference of who they are. It's not like there's anything exciting going on. But then I finally do get picked here. The second round, pick number 30. There it is. The St. Louis Cardinals have drafted Kenny Powers, the minor league pitcher, future closer of the franchise, hopefully. And I'll probably be starting off here with the Springfield Cardinals as a member of the AA affiliate. And hopefully I'm able to move up to the Memphis Redbirds fairly quickly. The, there's not really a whole lot of competition in relief pitching in the minors. So hopefully I'm able to advance just a little bit more quickly than I did in the uh, road of the show with Rick the Wild Thing Vaughn. Uh, but I am looking forward to the minor leagues because it's a lot of fun. You can really boost up crazy amounts of stats. I mean, like when I was playing in the minor leagues with Rick the Wild Thing Vaughn, I think there, there was a game where I had like... 14 strikeouts or something like that and granted I'm using a relief pitcher this time so I'm not expecting that but I wouldn't be surprised at all if you see Kenny Powers flying past that 100 mile per hour fastball mark very quickly and that's probably going to be pretty darn tough for the minor leaguers to handle. So there you have it guys the very first episode of the road to the show for Kenny Powers here on MLB the show 14. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm probably going to be putting out a decent amount of MLB The Show content. It won't just be the road to the show. At least that's not what I'm planning on at this point in time. I actually just started up an MLB The Show franchise or whatever it's called. I guess I don't know if it's called a uh, dynasty or I don't know. I forget what it's called. But I started up one of those like a league with some friends. Um, you guys probably know x 915 and Chase. They are both in this league as well as my friend Project KSL or Dustin. As you know, I'm on Twitter. And uh, we're probably going to be having some fun with this. I think you guys are going to really enjoy watching it. We're doing short seasons, so there's probably going to be a decent amount of head-to-head -head games. And I'll try and upload every single one of them. I think we're doing like a 14-game season or something. So I don't see any reason why I can't just upload every single game. 
So be on the lookout for that. I'll probably have a roster update sometime this week. I'm not exactly sure when, but I'll try and get it out sometime this week, maybe like Thursday, Friday, something like that. So you guys can get kind of an idea of what I did with my team. We did a fantasy draft and I am the Orioles. So anyway, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Let me know if you have any questions on anything. If you guys have any suggestions on what I can do to make this series more fun for you guys to watch and interact with, let me know. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And like I said, leave some comments if you guys would. I would appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.